Welcome to Jank Brews. Today's Jank Brew is brought to you by Little Discard Dorks. We'll start with those. Uh, we've got three copies of Skullcap Snail, which is a fungus snail that ETBs and exiles a card from our opponent's hand. We've got basically a duplicate of the, that card uh, with from the new set, Murders at Karloff Manor. An unscrupulous agent does the same thing, um, it's an elf detective. We'll talk about why we're playing this uh, ratio of dorks here in a second, but we've also, on the discard front, uh, got four copies of Virus Beetle, um, and we'll pop over here to Hopeless Nightmare uh, as a, the round out of, of our opponent discards a card abilities. Um, then we'll go up top here. So Sarah Paragon is here to obviously allow us to replay these dorks once they've died. Uh, which they're probably going to do because we're going to kill them or they're going to save at us from opposing damage from creatures, etc. Um, and we want a way to bring them back and make more use of them. So Sarah Paragon is here for that purpose. Uh, Enrica, Damnathi, same sort of thing here. Um, we can sacri sacrifice a little dork to force our opponent to do, do the same. Um, and Beseech the Mirror plays into why we've chosen four copies of Virus Beetle. Beseech bargain ability requires us to sacrifice an artifact or... Uh, enchantment or token and since i don't think we're playing any tokens we have the option of artifact and enchantment and within artifact enchantment we have just virus beetle and hopeless nightmare so thus the full four copies of virus beetle because otherwise i think skullclap snail and the scrupulous agent are better it's arguable if you wanted to build a version of this that you should just cut beseech um and then go all in on the skullcap snail and scrupulous agent style um and just play Good cards in the form of it in this in the place of beseech the mirror like shielded would be fine you could play an additional sarah paragon you could probably even go up uh, on extraction specialists which we'll get to next um so extraction specialists another way for us to bring back these dead dorks and make further use of them that's a fine rate at three two life it would link in the in the first place uh braids it goes along with the dorks same theme here we're able to sacrifice those discard dorks and get some value out of it and then put them in our graveyard so extraction specialist and sarah paragon can bring them back we got a single copy of lauren of the third path just because i think it's kind of uh, cute it can be brought back off of sarah paragon um it uh, functions as, as removal sometimes and uh it can allow us to draw a card at the end of our opponent's turn along with our opponent and then we can potentially make that opponent discard the card we just had them draw that's probably too cute you probably should cut this but this is jank bruise and this is the sort of thing we do here uh we've got also a single fun of copy of ran executioner thane uh, for obvious reasons here we want to be sacrificing dudes and gaining a little bit of value off of that we've got full four copies of right of oblivion this is perhaps excessive but it's a catch-all removal spell and allows us to uh Sacri sacrifice Hopeless Nightmare, which is great because we don't have too many means by which to sacrifice Hopeless Nightmare. We've got Beseech the Mirror, we've got Braids, uh, and I think that's it, um, other than Rite of Oblivion. So Rite of Oblivion, sacrificing Hopeless Nightmare is awesome, especially when we can bring that back off of Sarah Paragon, etc. Uh, we have two copies of Corrupted Conviction. This is from the new set. Um, sorry, that's not from the new set. It was only, in fact, Unscrupulous Agent and one of the lands that we're playing from Murders at Karloff Manor. Um, but this is a means by which to gain value off of our discard dorks. Got two copies of Cut Down. Uh, just to, you know, there's a lot of early action in Standard right now. So it's just a, a hedge against the aggressive decks that we're likely to see. Uh, on the mana base front, pretty standard here. We're running full four copies of Restless Fortress. Uh, you know, it's just not a bad magic card. Uh, it's fine in this deck. We don't we don't often need to be like curving out one, two, three sort of deal. Um and we're playing a single copy of Shadowy Backstreet, mainly because it's I've only opened one so far. Uh, I don't I don't know if I love it, but it does have some utility in this deck. Um, in that we could you know surveil a Skullcap Snail into the yard or or something to allow us to recur it with a Extraction Specialist, etc. So uh, maybe I'll play two or three or four copies if I determine it's any good um, once I get more of them. But I'm not willing to burn uh, wild cards on it right now. So that's Orzhov discard. Get into some gameplay.